Okay, so this video that I'm doing now is partner son mm -hmm, in the fourth house. Okay, so your partner's son in your fourth house or okay, well, your son is going into the fourth house of the person that you are seeing, dating, married to, into, friendship with. I'm not um, discriminating. <laughs> okay, so a person's son is falling into their partner's fourth house. Here is where we get this vibe of the fourth house feeling that the sun starts shining a light on where they feel like security, security um, establish itself for them, you know, like the house person could almost, if especially if they're not you, gen, if they're not generally a serious person, like they're not really one of those people that's thinking about family and stuff like that. It could be like, oh, well, I want it one day, or you know, it can even be a person that's like, I don't even ever want kids, or I don't even want to become a mother. I don't want to become a parent. I don't got that vibe, that bone in my body, you know. Meaning, a son person could then start to make the fourth house person reevaluate these things. You know, and all of a sudden, they could be like, you know what, I never, like, I'm babysitting kids now, and I'm volunteering at the schools and stuff like that. You know, I just never really seen myself, like, being this type of person. You know, I'm cooking meals, looking up recipes, you know. Do I, do I, like, maybe, maybe I I, 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 I want to be a parent? Maybe I, 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 I do have it cut out for this mothering role, like, I do want a family. I, I do want security. The fourth house person can all of a sudden have this revelation. They they need these things. They're about family. It's important to them. Actually going about ways to make sure that these things able, are able to get done. The son person could feel like family to the fourth house person. And in return, the fourth house person is going to want to support the son person. They're going to want to support them. This is one of those situations, even if the son is the man. This is what I tell people all the time. I don't really go on based on those stereotypical ideologies that, okay, well, the man should be the one doing this, this, and that. And the woman should be the one doing this, this, and that. Because here are these situations to where when the man ain't doing the, 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 the usual role and the woman might not be doing the usual role and then you have those relationships where it's like the family and the people associated with it could be judging the relationship like okay yeah you doing this for him and you doing that for him uh-huh yeah i don't agree with that and you're just like well you know it works for us this can be these these type of placements exist you know But the house person could seriously find itself wanting to provide security for the son person at all costs. And this is the interesting thing here. This is the interesting thing here because if you like, if you just happen to be the female that's the son, then in, in the more traditional roles, then yeah, people might feel like like your parents or your family may say, okay, yeah, he's the he's the right choice for you. Like if this is a man you're dealing with. Um, that's the fourth house person. He's the right choice for you because look at how he just wants to make sure you're taken care of. Look at how he's just so into family. Look at how he's just so wanting to provide security for you and support you even on an emotional level, right? Mm-hmm. Depending on the whole chart. Depending on the whole chart. Because everybody, if you don't know, anytime you're dealing with Cancerian energy and they always talk about family. You get those cancers that's not really that big into family. They try to isolate themselves from family. Some of them, not all of them. It depends on the chart. You see what I'm saying? So it depends because here you can see a toxic type of um, support system that's very codependent too. Like I didn't get to that yet. But in a more traditional role, it'll seem like, okay, yeah, you know, she the, the female, that's if she's a sun sign, she has the 
the dream life, you know, to have support from her man emotionally and he cooks for her and vice versa, you know. Um, and not, tra- not so traditional, like the fourth house person could be, they'll say, oh yeah, you're being used. You're, you're letting that man use you because he's the sun sign person and like you're supporting him financially and everything of, uh, of the sort. Although in a traditional sense, I can see how this works as well, because it could be like the fourth house person. If she's a female then, or a woman, whatever, she can play the role of making sure that the home and the family situation is taken care of, you know, cooking, things of that nature. And the son person will love that. You know, it's like, I, I love my woman is doing this. And then the vice versa on the other um, side, if the male happens to be the fourth house person, it can look like, you know, he's doing womanly duties, quote unquote. And, you know, he's not being a man. So that, that goes vice versa. But when all is said and done, it's like the sun person could really stimulate, simulate the fourth house person's need for family nurturing security. Okay. And the fourth house person, like the sun person feels highly supported by the the sun the the fourth house person the sun person feels highly supported by the sun person but this can let them get too comfortable you know these two people could be very comfortable with each other what i like about it is it could be that aspect where you know you don't like you could be looking like that you know what i'm saying it's like i ain't putting on my makeup thing i ain't doing nothing fool you know me you know me you know like you know who i am beneath all of this i don't gotta do that for you it's like they're just comfortable with each other they can sit they can you know you can be in your sweatpants and your hair looking, you know, a, a mess and, and feel like you can just really reveal your true nature to each other with this placement. However, here's another side to this placement. This is where high levels of codependency can exist here and this can also be a placement to where one person starts acting like the other person's mother parent in the relationship and then the person is kind of like you know you you got the fourth house person that may be like listen i'm not your mother like you want me to be like your mother but i'm not like your mother you know i can't baby you grow up you know or, or even the son person could be like, listen, don't treat me like a baby. Like, I'm not your son. Or I'm not your daughter. I'm not your, like, I don't need, I, I'm just, I, I want my independence within a relationship. I don't need for you to treat me like I'm your child. You know, then the codependency aspect of it could be on an emotional level to where one needs the other to feel secure. So it's like you're constantly, it could be one of those situations or those relationships where you don't see one without seeing the other. And and other people can look at it like, okay, that's really cool. Or other people can see through it and be like, okay, so what's going on here? Is there trust issues? Why can't, you know, want, you know one of them do what they need to do in life without the other one interfering or being there? And it can become kind of hard to to tear these two apart which is a good thing but then if it's a toxic connection or relationship that's not a good thing because it could be a situation to where one person could be trying to seek the validation of the other it could be a situation to where one person you know the like one or the other person doesn't matter starts triggering the feelings of insecurity within the other person based on the relationship that they had when it came to like uh, growing up, you know, with a parent and and, and needing somebody to fulfill that role, a a parental role for them. Okay. So dealing with this placement, it's good to understand the importance of dealing with um traits family traits in situations that could be toxic understanding that security starts within being secure starts from within first we do it from ourselves and we extend outward 
um, and practicing interdependence with the relationship with each other, not looking to parent the other person, you know, these are some things that you have to get clear on because if you're just like, I'm not looking for a parent, this is something that you have to communicate with the person about. Other than that, to feel like family, like you can also have met each other because through family or because like you went through the same school, you know, something in the past, you know, something dealing with growing up or being introduced by the mother or something like that. This is a relationship where you have maybe the mother intervening all the time, possibly. But this can be progressive if you're able to form healthy bonds with each other and you're willing to break toxic family cycles and you're saying like, listen, we, we can build our family, like we can take what benefited us from the past, but we can add in new things for the future and we can build what we need to structure our family and feel secure within it. Okay, so this has been Sun in the Fourth House and in your partner's fourth house industry. I'm gonna fight some light and I will be back. Thank you.